Hello all, welcome to today's to tech channel. Today we will look on branch step in web methods. So in web methods, typically we have two ways to write a branch step. One is branch on switch value, another one is branch on an expression. So let's see how we will branch on a switch value today. This determines which child step will actually be executed. So. Let's create a folder here and let's name it as demo services and then we'll have a flow step. Let's name it name it as branch on switch. Keep it as empty flow. Okay, we have a flow service now. Let's give it as input output variables to this particular service. So let's add some input variables to your string. Let's name it as name. We'll have address and we have a condition variable where exactly we will be doing the branching. So let's have some card type. Okay. And in output we'll have a message variable. Let's give the name as message itself. Okay. Let's come to the tree. And here we will insert a branch step. So right click on your service, insert branch. Here, what we will do is like we will branch on this particular variable. So copy this variable name. Insert copy and give it in a switch property in the properties tab. Okay, so we'll switch on this particular variable on runtime basis. And while doing so, what we will do, we'll call some child steps, uh, mostly child map steps here. Let's have first map step as, let's see what we'll give. Okay, so here in the properties tab, we'll have a level property. Here we will mention at which particular value this particular map step needs to get executed. So suppose the card type is as David. The hard code a message here. This is a David card. Great. We'll add another map step. In the level property, we will give the name as credit. So you can see here the label is coming as credit. And in message of pipeline out, we will give a value to it so that we can distinctly identify that this particular step has been executed. This is a credit card. And if none of David and credit card 
steps are being executed what we will do we'll add a default step to it how we will do that we'll add another map step here in the level property we will make it as default and in the pipeline out variable of message we will give an output message as this is a bad card so if none of david and credit properties are being done then we will get a default step we'll save it so this branch executes the child steps whose level marks with the switch value to it okay so now we'll run it run as okay we'll have run from here so we will run it let's give card type as credit see the message is coming as this is a credit card that means the credit step of map has been executed from this particular branch step we'll run it again and we'll show you how the default map is being executed run close of this okay. let's give it a loan see the message is coming as this is a bad card so in this way we will write how to execute a branch step using a switch property so here the particular switch property is card type which is coming from the input and this particular variable is carrying some value which is being you know evaluated as debit credit and default so if it is debit it will go to debit step it, if it is credit it will go to credit step and if none of the both the evaluations happens it will go to default step so that's all